connected with through Clubhouse. And, you know, we've had some little mastermind sessions offline with him and, and some of our other buddies on there. And he is a brilliant entrepreneur and an amazing systems guy. And he was walking us through some of his systems offline. I was just blown away how he has all these crazy integrations and everything. But the one thing that I wanted to talk about was how he's scaling his rental arbitrage business. And a lot of people are asking like, well, where, how do you scale it? Like, you know, a lot of our list, a lot of our guests have talked about, you know, how they're taking a whole floor of a new development or, you know, 10, 20 units at a time. And people are like, well, how, how do you come up with capital for that kind of stuff? Or how do you scale, you know, continually? And I love what, what Brian's doing where he's positioning himself as a done for you, Airbnb done for you, STR service where people can basically invest capital with him to furnish a unit. And then Brian does everything for them. And then they have a revenue split. So it's almost like taking the co-host model and applying it to the rental arbitrage model where he's raising capital to fund his units. And then he's doing some type of revenue split with the investors. The reason I like the way he positioned it though, it's, it's, it's different. It's more like, Hey, this is a done for you service. Like you can get in the Airbnb game without getting your hands dirty at all. Mm -hmm. Here's how much it costs to set one of these up. If you put that up, I'll take care of everything for you. So I thought that was a brilliant way to kind of bridge that gap and raise capital to scale and position it for people that want to get in the business, but maybe they don't want to take the time to learn it or they're busy professionals or entrepreneurs themselves. And they're just like, Hey, you know what? This sounds amazing. I want to get in this sexy Airbnb game. I'm just going to partner with Brian and he can do it for me.